Hey there, it's Steve and Courtney from Serious Keto, and what do we have today? We've got some goodies from Chalk Zero, peanut butter cups, variety pack, white, milk, dark. Yeah, and in fact, your mom and I recorded a review of that, oh. but we didn't, I cut it out because mm -hmm. it was just way too long. Oh. So now you get to try them. Okay. And what else do we have? Rhea candy bar, which is caramel, peanuts, and nougat. I think it's Rhea. Rhea? Yes, because it's named after Rhea, a, a woman that works for Chalk Zero. Oh. And you and I tried these a little over a year ago. Really? Yes. Hmm. Your hair was red and you had a nose ring <laughs> at the time. So I went back and I looked at that video because we had, we had some suggestions on how it could be better. Okay, what were they? I don't remember that. First off, the caramel was very firm, pretty much solid. And mm. you mentioned that in a regular Snickers bar, we bite in and the, the yeah. caramel is sort of stringy. You also wanted to see more peanuts okay. in it. And I wanted to see a softer nougat. Okay, I'm remembering this now. Okay. I remember, yeah. And this is supposed to be version 2.0. The caramel looks So we'll thinner. see, we'll see if it looks like it does in the picture there. Okay. I'm really excited. I don't want to wait well, for Colton now. Well, <laughs> here's the other thing. We're going to do a giveaway. Shock Zero knew that my birthday was coming up. I don't know if they knew that my Ketoversary was coming up. Okay. So Ketoversary, five years as of March 16th. And on March 17th, I'll be 56 years old. So stick around to the end of the video for that. And hopefully by then Colton will be here. Yeah. And uh, he can try out some of this stuff as well. But first, let's go through these. You can read off the nutritional information and then I'll read the ingredients, or unless you want to cover it all. Um, I don't know, I don't, or, or can you read the ingredients? Oh yeah, glasses. I got my glasses. So let's, since there's three different ones, they're largely the same if you if you look yeah. at the ingredients and the macros. Mm -hmm. But why don't you do the, the peanut butter cups and I'll do the Rio bars. All right, so they've all got chocolate, dextrin, peanuts. Oh, they're peanut butter cups. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, palm oil, sunflower, lecithin, peanut flavor, monk, monk fruit extract. Uh, in terms of the palm oil, this is palm fruit oil, not palm seed oil. So this is actually a good oil and it's sustainable as well. Serving size is two of the peanut butter cups and uh, total carbs, 15 minus dietary fibers, 12. So three grams on the dark chocolate. Oh, net, net carbs. Net carbs. Yep. The milk. Protein. Oh, protein. And fat. Two grams. Of fat. 10 grams. Okay. Milk so chocolate. I don't, I don't think we need to okay. read through all of them. They're pretty they're, much the they're same. They're all very, very similar. Mm -hmm. Yep. For the Rhea bar, serving size, one bar, 190 calories, total fat, 12 grams, total carbs, 32 grams. So if you are counting total carbs, this is going to be a no-go. However, 28 grams are dietary fiber for a net four. Ingredients are milk chocolate confection, non-GMO resistant dextrin, fructo oligosaccharides, peanuts, whole milk powder, palm oil, again, sustainable, cocoa butter, vanilla whites, Cocoa, I'm combining things here. Vanilla whites. <laughs> cocoa, cocoa butter, egg whites, vanilla flavor, baking soda, monk fruit extract, and sunflower lecithin. Now, one thing I do want to mention before we get into the taste test is probably if I were basing it purely on the comments I get on my videos, Chalk Zero seems to spike the glucose of about 10% of people, maybe a smidge more. I have not had that problem. I have never had a Chalk Zero product that has spiked my blood glucose, but if you have had Chalk Zero before and found that it spiked your blood glucose, then I think it's safe to say these probably will as well because they use very similar ingredients across products. All right, let's try out the Rhea bar. All right. Because I don't think I, I don't think no. I don't think Colton is going to be that interested in the Rhea bar. Really? Okay. So one of the things I noticed on the old bars is there there did seem to be like a little bit of a slightly whitish coating oh. on it. This is nice and dark. And if you recall, the last one that I sliced through was almost like a Snickers bar, a frozen Snickers bar. Yeah. I mean, it was, Hard. I really had to push to get through. And this, you can see, 
until I get down to the very, very bottom. It also looks like it's got quite a bit more peanuts in there. Mm-hmm. All right, you ready to give it a try? Yep. You can take your pick. All right, your thoughts? I still wish the caramel was thinner. It took a long time to chew that, and by the time that I was done with the caramel, the chocolate was gone. Mm -hmm. I kind of like forgot about it. But would I finish the bar? Absolutely. Yeah, it's still, I don't think you're gonna bite into this and it's gonna give you a stringy caramel. Yeah. I wish there were a little bit more nougat, just like before. Mm -hmm. I do like that it's a lot more peanutty mm -hmm. and a lot less chewy. The, the old Rhea bar, was a bit of a workout. Mm -hmm. yeah. I also think it doesn't taste, I'm not sure what it's missing that a Snicker bar has. It reminds me this a little bit more of almost a slightly maple sort of a yeah. taste. And I feel that the, the peanuts aren't as peanutty. Crunchy. Yeah, they're not as, yeah. The textures, it's the textures. It's good, but I think if you're trying to fill the gap that a Snickers bar used to exist in, yeah. in your life, that this is, it's not gonna be it. So appreciate it for what it is. Yeah. It is an improvement on the Rhea bar and it's it's yummy, but I think it tastes a little bit more mapley and not as strong peanutty as a Snickers. Right. And it's not a Snickers, so I guess we shouldn't be comparing. It's hard not to, you need a frame of reference, I think. It is, yeah. All right, yeah. now we're gonna hold off on the peanut butter cups until okay. Colton gets here and that's supposed to be any minute now. Mm. All right, we've got a special guest here. Me. Yeah, what, let them know what your name is if they don't know already. Who are you? Colton Tree. Yes, and we now are gonna try out three different flavors of peanut butter cups. Cool? Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. What do you wanna do first? Do you wanna do dark, milk, or white? Well, white. We'll start with white? Okay. And we're doing dark, then we're doing milk and then dark. Okay, you want to hold it up and let people see the size? Definitely smaller than a Reese's peanut butter cup mm -hmm. in terms of both circumference and width. How big of a piece do you want? Well, it's got to be medium size or something. Medium size, like this size? Oh, uh, yeah. And then Courtney and I will split this other piece. Mm -hmm. Unless you want a smaller one. Well, I'll be okay. You'll be okay with that one? Mm -hmm. All right, you want to hand that to Courtney? No. Thank you, sir. All right. Ready? Mm -hmm. Oh, Courtney already ate hers. You can't ting her in her. Oh, you can. All right, here we go. <clears throat> okay, you just ran off to get a little palate cleanser here, right? With mm -hmm. some water. What did you think of the white chocolate peanut butter cup? Well, it's pretty good. It's pretty good? Mm -hmm. Courtney, what did you think? Not a big white chocolate fan, so it was good, but. Have you ever had a bit of honey? Never heard candy? of it. Okay. It's really chewy. It takes like forever to eat it. That's mm. what this kind of reminds me of. It, I, there's no honey in it, in this, this white chocolate, but I think there must've been something in the white chocolate f itself that kind of lent that taste to it. Okay. Very, it's peanut buttery. I don't get a whole lot of white chocolate flavor from it. It just reminds me of sweet. a bit of honey. It's very sweet. All right, Colton, you ready to try the milk chocolate? Yep. All right, you want another big chunk again uh, or a smaller chunk? Well, I'll have a small chunk. You have a small chunk, Courtney? I'll do the big one. Big one? Okay. Thanks. All right, here we go. Ding. Ding. All right, what did you think of that? Well, first, it, so first I chewed it, then it got stuck to my, uh, up here, then I swallowed it. Where did it get stuck? Up on the roof of your mouth? Mm -hmm. And then I swallowed it. Okay, but what did you think of the taste? It's pretty good, but yeah, that will work. Pretty, pretty good? Uh, okay. Uh, That'll work? Is that what you said? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I wish there was more chocolate. I feel like it's very thin. So, I I actually found it fairly chocolatey, mm. but the peanut butter that's in it, it reminds me a lot more of natural peanut butter Yeah. than the sort of peanut butter that you get in a Reese's peanut butter cup, Yeah. which is kind of like extra sugary, extra concentrated. Mm-hmm. Thumpers back there making noise. Okay. Ready to try the dark chocolate? Yeah. All right. You want a small piece again? Uh, no. 
Yeah, this is medium. That's a medium. Well, okay. That one? Uh, no. No, this one. I like this one. Okay. Let's go, bro. Sorry. Alrighty. I'll take the small one this time, okay. yeah. So we each, we each had an opportunity to get one big chunk. Yep. Ding. Ding. All right, what's your opinion? Well, I think it's kind of like the Taco Bar at like Dawson Creek chocolate stores, like maybe 80% or 70%, maybe one of those. Okay, so you say it tastes about 70%. Five, you said how what 75 percent? 75 or 77. 75 or 77 percent cocoa. Uh -huh. Okay. Did, so is that sort of where you like it? Uh, yeah. Okay. So which was your favorite out of the three? Well, I think milk chocolate. Milk chocolate? Okay. <laughs> what did you think? My favorite was the dark chocolate. I felt like it was just a nice snack that wasn't too sweet. Natural peanut butter, dark chocolate. It didn't have any of that like artificial sweetness type of stuff that I feel like the white chocolate does. So I, that's just my preference. I feel like it's it's the most overall balanced yeah. of the three. It brings a nice chocolate that's not too sweet and then that, like you said, natural peanut butter taste. Mm -hmm. So on the whole, very good, don't you think? Mm -hmm. All right. So you know what also we're gonna do? Give away? Yeah. Give away. So we are gonna give away some $50 Chalk Zero gift cards. How many should we give away? Well, it's about, about 21. 21? No. How about five? Mm. How about 10? Huh, well, see, they said I could give away five. Okay. So how, how about five? Does that work for you? Well, six works for me. <laughs> Again, <laughs> they're only giving us five. Okay, fine. Fine, okay, well, Thank you to Chalk Zero for providing us with five $50 gift cards. Here's how you can be entered to win. Leave a comment down below. Include hashtag giveaway. And then what I will do is on Saturday, March 16th, which is my five-year ketoversary, I will use a random comment picker and pick one of your, well, five of your, jeez, I said five. Five of your comments and I will reply to them with instructions on where to go at SeriousKeto.com so that I can get your information and I can give you one of those gift cards. Now, I do believe for this one, you're gonna have to be in the US. I don't believe that Chalk Zero ships out of the US. If I find out otherwise, I will put something down in the pinned first comment letting you know. But I think that is gonna be it. Can you sit up straight for just a second? You gotta, you gotta bring us home here on this. You gotta bring us to the closure. How do we do that? What do we say at the end of the videos? See you next time. Thanks for watching. Yes. Thanks for watching. And thank you for helping. Mm-hmm. Hey, what am I doing?